Hey guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here, and we are talking about Jervis. Hey guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here, and today we're talking about Jira Service Desk, and we're going to talk about how to customize user portal. Before we do, I have a quick ask. You're already watching that. Please click on subscribe and like because. Well, if you're here, you already watched some of my videos and you know they bring you value. It will really, really help me out. And now let's get to the actual video. So how do we get into customer portal and how do we customize it? Everything is very easy. Take me a couple of minutes to explain. To get to customer portal, you need to go to your Jira service desk. If you don't know how to get there, you click on switch to find a Jira service desk and you'll get to this user interface and to get to the portal if you're an administrator you go to channels and then you go to help center and here we are if you don't see anything what I'm showing you might not have the right permissions so make sure you do have admin permissions here it will definitely help you out a lot this is a help center this is what your customers see when they want to submit requests and today we're just going to cover look and feel of this. There are certain things that we also can change as those request types and stuff like that. We'll do it in a future videos today. Let's just talk about how to customize the look and feel. Let's click on customize. And here we have a portal announcement or help center look and feel. Let's go to portal announcement first. Portal announcement is something that you can communicate to your customers. Let's say if something new happened, you might say, new help center. This will be a title and then you'll have a message, easy to submit your requests. If you do that and click save changes, it will show you how it appears right away. So see your announcement will be visible now. So if you have anything new happening, you can also always put it here. Uh, if you have some delays, you can put it here. Anything that you think is valuable for your customers, you can put it right here. So let's customize even more. We also can customize look and feel. Let's click on help center look and feel. And here, of course, we can change it even more. This is for uh, different projects. Some customers have access to different projects. This will be um, the welcome page for the portal that shows you all different projects that you have. You can put announcement on a separate project as well as on the whole um, help center portal that has many projects in it. Hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, put them in the comments down below. I'll try to explain it better, but this is the way um, I see it. So you can put it on the uh, global portal in here. Then you can add your logo, which is very, very cool and very important if you have your custom logo. You can uh, change a help center banner, put something cool, or I like to remove it and I like to put some custom color. Uh, let's say, let's do it uh, green. It's crazy green color. If you click choose, it will show it to you. Wow, looks terrible. Uh, let's put red, something like that, very modern. Um, change the name, define Agile Help Center, and then you can put the title, uh, Helping Since 1988, something like this. So you can customize all of this. Uh, you can uh, you can customize Help Center banner text color as well. If you think that the color should be different. You want to make it blue let's say you can choose that and the color will be blue but I'll stick with white Just like white more and this is about it so it doesn't give you a lot of things to customize in terms of look and feel but you can customize you can make it definitely look like your brand there's also a thing called widget. If you don't like this at all and you want to put it in your own website, you can just embed the widget. But I think this is a pretty uh, cool and easy way to customize your help center. When I save changes, well, this is how it looks like. So if I go to uh, any of the projects, which is on a project level, this is, your, this is what you would see. Looks really nice. So that is it. This is how it will look like. So we changed a bunch of things really quickly, customize our help center. Hope it makes sense. Of course, we will uh, cover more and more what we can do about it, change all the issue types and uh, really make it very um, 
and really make it a very efficient tool for you to interact with your customers. But this is just like a first understanding how you can change it up quickly and just start getting those requests. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. If you want me to cover anything here, put also in the comments down below. I'll happy to do that. I always welcome your requests and try to answer every single comment. If you think they brought you value, again, please like and subscribe because I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for free because I really, really enjoy sharing the value. If you think that you don't want to do any of this and you want to hire me, hire my team to help you out, help your business be efficient, be agile, please go to financial.com. Skill of free consultation. Let's talk. I'm sure we can help your business. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.